Hi, I'm Jay Tyler with Wheatstone Corporation, and I'm here to introduce you to the newest member of the WheatNet IP product line, the DMX series by AudioArts. Um, the DMXA is our four bus new audio arts board. Um, you've got three meters on the top here, an encoder on every single channel. You've got a bright multicolor OLED display down here. Um, this is also where we display things like our EQ mode selection. Um, it, there's a spill function that gets all of that information for the EQ and dynamics across here per channel. Um, comprehensive monitoring section here. We've got four onboard events. Um, you know, once you've got your console set up, things like programming the events and everything is just simple on board here. If you can program a preset in your car stereo, you can uh, program one of your events here. So there's really no external PC needed for that. Um, it's a full IP surface. So here you'll see our two cables. One's gonna be an ethernet connection to the switch. The other is gonna be a simple power cable here. Um, the eight gets powered off the engine. The 16 will actually have a bigger supply. I'm going to talk to you about the DMX engine or our WheatNet IP console blade for DMX. Um, just like every other blade in the WheatNet system, um, he's got a gigabit Ethernet link, he's got an onboard power supply. This particular one is paired with a DMX8 or a DMX16. You'll see here we've got two preamps. Um, phantom power if necessary, output of the preamp that you can use or wire to one of the analog inputs. Um, if you've got external processing or you're using, uh, which you can come in analog or digital, if you have a mic, mic processor from WheatNet IP, it'll just get its signals through the network. So this is probably isn't going to be needed. You've got six GPI GPO ports. That's going to be enough for your on-air tally, maybe your Michael Light, uh, you know, microphone tally, some local starts and stops for your CD players or traditional devices. In addition to the four analog inputs and four digital inputs, we've got four stereo outputs of analog and four stereo digital outputs. We've got four connectors for external devices like your studio, um, external queue, your control room monitor amp, and possibly an external headphone amp. On board is the five port switch. This is gonna connect uh, additional blades and additional surfaces or one surface to this uh, system. Once you're gonna outgrow this IO device, now you can take advantage of all the other blades in the WheatNet IP family because the new DMX is fully WheatNet IP compatible. This will also allow you to enter the whole world of AES67 being it's a WheatNet device, we're full AES60 compatible on this as well. For more information on the DMX, its engine, or any other Wheatstone devices, please visit us at wheatstone.com.